Thank you for sharing your Monday afternoon with us. Ito po ang nag-iisang kababayan today, your premier resource for anything Filipino and Filipino-American, where we kick off our week with uh, taking care of ourselves. And when we talk about that, we talk about our health. When we talk about health, today on the program, on our health segment, we're going to be talking about the sensitive issue of organ and tissue donation and transplantation. Make sure you watch this heartwarming story. Yolanda Domingo is a mother who says she received the most amazing Mother's Day present on May 14th, year 2000. And the amazing gift was made even more special because she did not know the giver. I am a recipient of a heart. In 1998, Yolanda was diagnosed with a serious heart condition. I thought I was getting a cold. So I went to Straub and when I got there, they took my blood pressure, um, they put me on an EKG machine, and it draws lines on the paper, but the lines were going off the paper. And so the nurse was like, are you sure you're okay? Because, you know, this, this, is, not, this is not right, you know? And I said, no, I feel fine. And so we thought something was wrong with the machine. Um, they took blood from me, and then they took a chest x-ray. And um, when they took the chest x-ray, they said, you know, you need to make an appointment with a cardiologist. And that's all they knew. They said that something's, they, there's something funny about your heart. That's all they told me. So two days later, I went to see a cardiologist, and he told me, you have idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy, which I, I never knew what that meant. Um, he told me I'm really sick. Um, my heart was performing at 20%, and it wasn't going to get better. And idiopathic basically means they don't know. Um, cardiomyopathy means it's a heart muscle, and dilated means enlarged. So I had an enlarged heart muscle, and they didn't know why. She was given a year to live, and the only way she would survive was if she got a heart transplant. Organ and tissue transplantation is something that uh, can be considered on every single patient that uh, has the ability to share their life or extend the, the, the life of other people. And uh, sa iba, pwede itong maging uh, makatulong, for example, sa mga um, nangangailangan ng kidney, ng liver, ng heart, at, ng, at sa isang mga pasyente na, for example, may mga batang may mga cancer, yung mga buto na nare-recover could also be something that we could use to replace those. Uh, heart for heart valves also, pag yung leak, naglilik ang mga heart valves, they can use this to replace the heart valves. As of September of this year, there are about 130,000 patients of different ages waiting for organ and tissue transplants. In Hawaii, where we met Yolanda and Dr. Australia, there are 453 patients in need, according to Legacy of Life Hawaii. There's a huge demand but little supply because of fears and misconceptions about organ and tissue donation. Marami ang natatakot tungkol sa, marami natatakot na pag naging organ donor ka or tissue donor ka na hindi ka na pwedeng magkaroon ng isang uh, uh, open casket viewing, which is not true. Dahil marami na tayong mga, mga naging donors ng organ at saka tissue that, and they can still have an open casket viewing. Uh, the other thing that na kinakatakot ng maraming mga kababayan natin ay yung tinatawag na deceleration of care which is ang iniisip nila na kapag ikaw ay nasa ospital at may possibility ka na maging organ or tissue donor na ititigil nila ang any efforts for, for them to try to save you which is really not true of course all physicians are really they, they're sworn to really first of all First and foremost, to do no harm to any patient. Okay, organ and tissue donation only becomes an option after everything has been completed and, and done, and uh, after all said and done, wala na magagawa sa pasyente. Then that's a possibility. Doctor Australia went on to address the religious consideration of many Filipinos. Well, the Philippines is predominantly a Catholic church, and it is very interesting that ang si Pope John Paul II really supports organ and tissue donation. In the Bible it says, whatever you do, you did to the least of your brethren, you did it to the king of all men. Mm -hmm. 
So, pwede man sa same thing, kung anong pwede natin magawa sa ating mga kapwa at tao eh, at para sila matulungan, eh, this is a really good thing. It's, it's uh, an extension of God's healing ministry. For her part, Yolanda says this gift of her donor's heart is also a gift from God whom she and her family has been calling on throughout this ordeal. They, there's a time when your family comes in and they tell you goodbye and stuff. So everything was fine. My mom, my brothers and sisters, um, my husband came in. and I, I've known my husband since I was 14. And so he came in and he looked at me and he said, you know, you need to promise me that you're going to come back to me. And I looked at him and I said, you know, in all the years that I've known you, I don't think I, I, you know, I can't keep that promise, but we'll just leave it in God's hands and it'll be okay. And so he started to cry and then I started to cry. So they escorted him out of the room and I don't remember counting sheep and I don't remember counting beers. I just remember waking up and I just heard this machine and I, my body was vibrating. You know, and I, I, I w it was just going boom, boom, boom. And so I rang for the nurse and I said, you know, my body's vibrating and it just doesn't feel right. You know, there's something wrong. And she was laughing and she said, no, Mrs. Domingo, you know, it's fine. It's you and your new heart and you guys are doing just fine. When we return, Yolanda talks to us about meeting her donor family, mother to mother, very touching. You wouldn't want to miss that.